What's up guys, Tobias here and welcome to a new FIFA 13 news. As you can see, this is the new iOS uh, screenshots for the FIFA 13 which is going to be available on iPhones um, and iPads which is going to be released in the near future. Um, these screenshots were released earlier this week. I think some of them are uh, being shown. I think you're going to be seeing, be seeing around eight of them. Uh, I believe some of them were released yesterday but a lot of them uh, in this video you're going to see were released earlier this week. Um, obviously, the, I haven't actually released a prior of what it is going to be, uh, what you're going to have to pay to download it from the App Store. Um, however, we will obviously be able to tell that um, it is obviously going to be more expensive to download on the I iPad as a lot of the games are nowadays. Uh, they will be a lot cheaper on the iPhone, that's because obviously you're not going to have uh, as much fun playing it as an iPhone because of the smaller screen, but on an iPad you're going to be expecting to pay up to around £6. Um, I did get FIFA 12 for my iPhone 4, uh, iPhone 4S, sorry, and I did get it in the sale that EA normally always always do on their apps uh, on the Apple Apple App Store um, and I did get it for under a pound I think I got it for 79p I think they were doing that for 24 hours but um, yeah the only things we know so far then for the um, FIFA 13 iOS game uh, which is coming out into the App Store soon again a date hasn't been released yet is that there are going to be 33 licensed stadiums um, over 30 leagues are going to be included in it with over 500 teams which include 15,000 players um, obviously there's going to be the improved graphics and especially with the new um, the new um, retina display within the within the new iPad that has been released, you can expect absolutely brilliant um, graphics in that. Um, new controls because uh, a lot of complaints were in FIFA 11 and FIFA 12 on the. Um, App Store game version of it, uh, the controls were a bit crap. Uh, they have adjusted that and they've come up with new ways to control and play the game for on the iPad and iPhone. Um, universal build including the gamepad. There's going to be included the EA Sports Football Club connecting fans to each other, their favourite club, uh, real world football and all across all platforms. Um, there's going to be an online multiplayer which I don't believe was in FIFA 12 but that is going to be included in FIFA 13. It will allow you to play uh, people all across the world over the internet on the multi player online um, from iPhone to iPhone or iPhone to iPad or iPad to iPad uh, which would be extremely interesting to see how that works out um, as well as online tournaments leagues and cups so that is going to be extremely interesting to see how that manages to be pulled off um, to be playing an online game such as FIFA on your iPhone while on your travels is going to be extremely interesting um, as well as the tournaments leagues and cups it also has the quick match which include friendlies pa practice and a practice penalty shootout mode and obviously the most important thing a lot of people will be wanting to see is a manager mode which is also going to be included in FIFA 13 and this year on their app version of the game uh, which is going to be extremely popular for those on the iPad. The only other thing we know about FIFA 13 for the iPhone and iPad is that it's something they have introduced to this year's FIFA and it is you can upload your highlights from FIFA 13 from your iPhone or iPad or any other iOS device straight to YouTube directly from the device you are playing FIFA from so if you get a really cool goal or something interesting um, within the game on your iPad or iPhone you can actually record it and upload it straight from your device onto YouTube so you can see some of these screenshots are screenshots taken from the new iPad which is that of a retina display and then I believe there are also a few screenshots in here that you've been looking at uh, which have been taken from the new iPhone 4s so that is all the news we know um, about FIFA 13 so far on the iOS iOS devices um, as new as new new news is released I'll be making a video of it and keeping you all updated but until my next FIFA 13 news video I'll speak to you guys later take care